Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got another reaction to a new Stone Bank and a Mel song. Good for me. And uh, this track is a little interesting for uh, one reason in particular. Uh, it is Future Rave. Uh, Monster Cat on their website has said that this is Future Rave, a genre that uh, is the first of its kind from the label. Uh, one that I haven't even heard of before. I don't even know what Future Rave even means. Uh, but it does feel only um, only right that Stonebank gets it, because Stonebank's done pretty much, I think, every genre or every main mo genre on Monster Cat uh, in some aspect or another. Everything from dubstep to glitch hop to electronic to house to... I think Future Bass is the only thing he hasn't done. Um, the hardcore and stuff, obviously, too. But uh, yeah, so he's kind of done everything uh, and anything and everything under the sun on Monster Cat. So it's only right to usher in a new genre of Future Rave uh, with Stone Lake NML. So uh, I am very intrigued to figure out what this is going to be. I don't have any clue what type of genre it's going to be. Uh, if it's ravey, my guess is it's going to be house is probably the closest thing I'd, I'd say. Uh, so let's uh, let's find out. So here we go. This is Good For Me by Stone Bank NML. They tell me to leave you, I should run away. They can't believe that I wanna stay. Oh, 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 oh. I try too hard to please you. Oh, 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 oh. I can't help but need you. You give me this feeling whenever you're with me. I find it hard to breathe. My Wow. Wow. Okay. Good for me. Stonebank and ML. Wow. 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 Future rave. Um, so I just did a little bit of Googling uh, in that, and it seems like Future Rave uh, was started by David Guetta and Morton uh, to some extent, uh, and is a fusion between techno and trance, uh, which I... I guess I think the closest thing really to it is is house, but um, I I really feel the rave for it. Like this, this is this is one of the tracks that you play at a festival for sure, and people go absolutely nuts for it. Uh, it's the most like kind of uh, commercial house esque style. No, that's not the right way to put it. Yeah, it's really future rave is probably the best way to put it. Like that, honestly, like that's just it. It it really is the best way to put it. Um, it sounds 
Prime and ready for like a, an EDC or Tomorrowland, and this would go absolutely nuts on a live setting, on a live stage. And uh, I, I even really enjoyed it here uh, <laughs> in my little studio here doing this. I. Yeah, I was a fan. Uh, Amel's vocals are fantastic, as they always are. I'm I'm such a huge fan of what she does. Uh, her and Stone Make work so well together. They should they should get married or something. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it was great. Uh, I loved what he did to her vocals uh, in the back half um, of kind of the just the really quick hits of you ain't good boom or the you ain't good boom and then just like just like. Let her have the her whole verses and then kind of bring her in just a little bit at the ends. I, I thought it was a, a neat little touch that really added a lot of um, oomph and and just energy to the drop sections. Uh, drops are like glitchy. At first, I thought it felt like the song was breaking in some extent. Like it was so like grinding and just uh, like just uh, like I felt like you were crunching to get through or something. I, I think that's a good way to put it, but. I, uh, yeah, I really, really did enjoy that, actually. That was one of the more impressive first listens I've actually had in a long time. Uh, and for a genre that I think, because uh, <laughs> if, uh, if David, Getten, David Guetta and Morton were the kind of pioneers of this uh, genre, uh, to some extent, uh, <laughs> it's a little more commercialized and would be tracks that would be a little more... Yeah, for a general public, I would say, and uh, David Guetta doesn't have the greatest rep uh, in terms of the EDM fans. He's great for being popular, but uh, in terms of quality music, uh, people don't really love his stuff. Um, Morton is a little less, or like, more <laughs> okay in that sense, but uh, in terms of this being a sound that's for, that hasn't really been a Monster Cat before, this sounds like a great Monster Cat take on a genre. And I say Monster Cat just because Monster Cat's style is a lot more different than what you'd see, hear at, like, you'd hear from a David Guetta is a great example. And so uh, bringing in quality, what I'm ultimately trying to say is that uh, I hear songs like this style in some extent that uh, I just automatically, I don't automatically, but I just, they don't have the kind of creativity and um, like real passion uh, that some songs like on Monster Cat do for the most part. I don't know that maybe that's just me, but uh, this really does feel like uh, one of those songs that has a ton of passion in it. It's something that is uh, a great blending of, of two different kind of style, two different sounds. And uh, I'm I'm ready for more of this. I'm ready for more of this on Monster Cat if this is going to come out. More of it from Stone Bank even, Stone Bank and ML. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, that is that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. A uh, big fan of Good For Me. Uh, one of my, yeah, most impressive first listens I've had in a while. Um, and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.